now I've managed to sneak away for a few days with a brand new Goldstream pop top. It's given me the opportunity to try out a new product. This is the all-in-one RV clothesline. It has some built-in tie-down clips and it's made by Reverse Mate. Well, here we have another Aussie company and they've also made their brackets right here in Australia. So we'll open the pop top roof, pull out the awning and we'll see exactly how long it takes to set up. The kit comes with the relevant clothesline brackets. It comes with the clothesline itself. And of course, let's not forget those built-in tie-down clips. So that if you want to make your clothesline super secure, get yourself some tie-down straps and reverse mate, they can supply those for you separately. The other thing that you'd want are a few 10 poles, but there's a good chance that you'll have those in your van already. Here we have one of the brackets. This clamps onto the right-hand side of the barrel of the awning. And as we can see, they've included a strip of protective rubber. This is the left-hand bracket. This is 15 metres of 4 mil plastic coated wire with a 160 kilogram braking strain. Various knobs that you'll need made of 316 stainless steel. It's not gonna rust. That's your centre support bracket. And these are the support arms for the left and right brackets. They'll screw on and we'll show you how that works. So very, very easy to fit the support arm to the main bracket and all relevant connections are supplied. The first thing that we'll do is place this left-hand bracket over the awning barrel, which just slots straight into the groove on the barrel. You can then tighten up the adjustable support arm, making sure it's level. Then fit a tent pole into the support cradle to give the arm additional vertical support. Then repeat the procedure on the other side of the awning. So now we can feed through our clothesline. Before we run it through to the other end, it's important that we also feed it through our central support arm and make sure that we've got enough slack. You can then run the line back the other way through the central support arm and then just cut the line to size if it's the first time you've used it and fit the supply tensioner, making sure there's plenty of tension on the line. Now fitting your third tent pole, this time to the central support is optional. Really it depends on how much weight is sitting on the clothesline and the weight of your clothes themselves should help to keep this third pole in position. Well that is the all-in-one RV clothesline by Reverse Mate. Honestly it takes you only a couple of minutes to set up and I can see how this would be a really really useful thing to take with you on your travels. But if you want to make your clothesline super secure you can use some tie downs. We've got the built-in tie down clip but Reverse Mate also sells a tie down kit specifically for the job and we're going to fit that now. And once you've got your strap pegged in it's just a matter of tightening it up. Now that's nice and taut, keep our straps tidy by using this little G-clip right here. There's enough room on the all-in-one RV clothesline for four large bed sheets, whether you're using the clothesline outside of the awning or underneath the awning. And as mentioned, you can still use your privacy screen. This clothesline will suit awnings with a barrel of either 90 or 88 millimeters, which includes most popular awnings on the market. This all-in-one RV clothesline only weighs 2.6 kilograms. There's no drilling required and it's easy to install. It's clearly a well-made product, so there's no reason that you should struggle with drying your clothes when you're out caravanning ever again.